attack you. It doesn't first of all attack your marriage. It doesn't first of all attack your finance. It attacks your faith directly. Because once faith is out of place, everything will be out of place. So he showed up in the garden and said, Eve, what has God said? Because faith comes by hearing. What God said, and you applying your believing to it, is faith. Faith is not positive thinking. Oh yeah, we'll make it. That's not faith. That, that's faith in something. But that's not the kingdom faith I'm teaching. Faith is God said it. That's my mindset. But I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I am not moved by what I see. I'm moved by what he said. Yesterday morning, my, my last son is five years old. He came to me and told me what the elder sister said. I mean, they are ages wide. She's 15, he's five. Ten years difference. So when she talks, the words carry weight. <laughs> so she said something to him, and I said, listen, Ephraim, I'm the father in this house. This is what I am saying. He said, no, this is what Shindara said. I said, well, it doesn't matter what Shindara said. I own Shindara. I tell Shindara what to do. In this house, the book ends on my table. But the boy could not understand. He's saying, do you know who Shindara is? Do you, do, do you know? Do you understand? This is Shindara I'm talking about. She has my bath for me. She feeds me. She, she leads me to bed. Daddy, you, you don't understand. That's the same way that you look at things. Uh, this is my boss talking. This is the government that spoke. This is, this is, but listen to me. Faith is, so that's why faith comes with maturity. It's not because you prayed one, you fasted for 12 days. No, no. You grow. In faith, if this boy, give this boy another 10 years, the sister talks, he picks up the phone and says, Daddy, did you hear what he said? And I said, don't worry. It calms down. Because he has grown to understand the power of daddy in that house. So it's not about repeating it ten times, repeating it five. That's why it comes by what you know. It comes by revelation. Understanding of what is going on. That's why if you attend a place where they don't teach you God's word, they're not feeding your faith. Some people attend a church where the pastor is a superstar. And I don't have any problem with anybody. But that's not God's design in the New Testament. That one man should stand here and all of us depend on the man. That's not a good strategy. We're going to kill the man. He gave some apostles, gave some prophets, gave some evangelists, pastors and teachers to perfect the saints, to mature the saints. Not for me to turn you to look up to me every day. To mature you. That's my duty. To mature you. That's my duty. That's my assignment. Not to, to, yeah, I might share testimonies because how you see me depends on how you receive me. However, everything I should do should perfect your faith, to mature, mature you, to be able to stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Now, I don't expect that you're getting me yet. So fear is not just I'm afraid. I can't sleep. It's part of it. But fear is, how will I make it? How will I? I. You see, the danger about fear is that I is the focus. The good thing about faith is God is the focus. And in the middle of pride is I. Center of pride. So those who talk like that, they are proud. And again, pride is not confidence. Pride is this thing you take on. Catch arm robbers and ask them, why, why are you robbers? Ah, man, nothing they happen for this country now. Mama, just, that's pride. Pride is in the middle of every sin. Just like I is in the middle of S-I-N. We were not designed to live without faith. 
So fear ushers in the devil and faith ushers in God. So you can see the reason why the devil hates for you to walk by faith. Again, what is faith? That's not the perfect definition. But just for this session, faith is, is this what God has said? I believe it. And it affects every action in that dimension. That's faith. It's not something I should have done. But because God said it, it affects, informs my decision, affects everything. Because faith, what you said you believe that has not affected your action. You didn't believe it. Peter told all night. Naturally, people should fish at night. He had more experience than Jesus. Jesus Christ was a carpenter, not a fisherman. If we were talking about the dynamics of a, of a boat on, the, on water, Peter could listen to him. But this is fishing. And it wasn't only Peter. Everybody fishing that night had the same complaint. Have you been there where everybody's complaining about the economy? You know, it gives you like a right to also complain because everybody's complaining. Listen, that's not the way we're designed. The next time someone tells you, and please, I'm not being spooky. I'm not just talking as a pastor. This is the way I live. We all have strength in some areas. This is the way I live. This is how we got here. How many of you went to learning with me? Did you see where I was raised from? Did you see the church I attended? How did I appear here? Faith. That's nothing to do with your background. And that's why I'm never ashamed to show you this, where, this, this, is, this is where we started from. To let you see that nobody's a superstar. God is the one behind anyone flying in the kingdom. That same place was where Bishop, if we had time, I would have showed you the churches of Bishop Wade. I would have showed you the first winner's chapel that I played the drums. I will show you. I, I just didn't have time. I played drums there. They were there for a long time. It did not grow. It takes faith. Where you are right now to get you where you are heading for. If you want to do it God's way, you must walk by faith. Anything that is not feeding your faith is your enemy. Your enemy. Because you will never get to where God wants you to get to. It's not for a sect of people. It's not for uh, Pentecostal and then Methodist. And, uh, no. 